Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beta for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I've been pretty excited for this game just because there's not been much out really. There's a lot of single player games I want to play but I'm just waiting on some new GPUs at a reasonable price. I, I don't know if that happens soon but we'll see. Uh, so I can record high quality gameplay and then I can pretty much do whatever I want, whenever. So let's start off with uh, the menu. What do I think of the menu? Overall, I think it's pretty good. It's really slick and smooth and I like this little action the menu does when I move the mouse. Um, now, in terms of things like, is it, you know, a little bit buggy and stuff, I've had no issues so far. The only thing I've seen is some text alignment issues and maybe some areas are a bit unresponsive with a click. Yeah, like there. Oh no, that's just because it's not set on. Never mind. Uh, so, first things first. Uh, should we start off with the loadout so you can see what there is? Okay, so welcome to the loadouts. So I've already done them, but I will just, you know, show you around. Because a lot of players, they just don't, you know, show what options you have. Alright, so in terms of guns, let's start with that. Assault rifles, we've got the Lachman 556. And you can see the stats here, damage. You really, what you want to see is generally high damage for hardcore game modes with the best mobility, handling and recoil control in one of, one of those three orders. Um, so far the M4 is really coming out on top, I think. Um, there's only an exception to that, and I'll come to that soon. So if you just want to pause the screen to see the stats, feel free. And then we'll head off to battle rifles. So this is the highest damage gun in the game. But it, it seems like it's a lot like the foul, so it's a one-shot weapon, it's not semi-auto or, uh, sorry, not uh, fully automatic. But these are the stats of the two. Here's some SMGs. The shotguns, just one. LMGs, uh, LMGs which uh, surprisingly are lower in damage than some of the rifles. Marksman rifles, so these are a bit like bolt action, I guess. Yeah. And sniper rifles, of which there's only one so far. I think you should bear in mind that uh, they haven't released every gun in the game. I, you know, if this is it, I'd be a bit surprised, but at the same time, I'm not going to complain because of uh, the mastery camera challenges that are coming up, and I don't even know how to do those yet because the challenges are locked. Alright, so the gun I've chosen for now is the M4. And uh, if we just go to equip base. No, we don't want that. Yeah, hold on. Oh, no, sorry, yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll go back to this. Um, gunsmith, right. You've pretty much got all of these options. So, the scope. I haven't locked them all, but if you just want to look at the stats, I'll quickly go through. They're the same for all weapon categories as far as I'm aware. Maybe there's one or two changes, but I don't think so. So, it's, they have some interesting ups and downs. But I just generally like my zoom, and as long as it doesn't affect anything, I'm happy. This one here is a four times as well. But they are, oh, it gives a glint. Right, the four times give a uh, glint. Oh, I don't like the glints. But this one, okay, medium sniper glints. I think I should change this to one of these, maybe. No. Yep. Oh, let me go back. Okay, I'll show you the rest. Just feel free to pause the screen um, in case you want to look up what the game's about. These ones are classified, I can't unlock them. These ones are likely OP. 
for some reason or the other. Probably down to the pros and cons. Laser is an interesting one. Um, you know, some of these they don't show to the enemy, so I'm really hoping they're going to keep that trend. I don't like it when it shows to the enemy, and I think it's a waste of good uh, customization because people just don't generally use it. And the rest of these are locked. Here's the muzzles. And these are locked, I think. Yep. Under barrel. And these are locked. Which is a shame. Ammo. Okay, ammo is interesting. Um, so, in terms of what these generally are, so you've got this frangible, which is it just simply stops health regeneration. That's it. But it's not frangible disabling where it disables the sprints, as far as I know. Armor piercing is basically FMJ. And um, I'll show you in a minute. You do have other options. So mag, you know, it does slow down your mobility and your aiming a bit. But I choose this over having to reload any time. Grip. You have these ones. The two major ones are the sprint of fire speed, and these are those are these two. But this one has, you know, less flint resistance. I don't know how much of a difference that makes until we go into the game. And lastly, the stock sprint of fire. So here's an example where the you know the glitch is. So that's easily fixable. I'm not really going to be fussy on that. So in terms of uh, the pistol, you can't do anything, right? Uh, flash grenade is what I chose because that's all I have. This reminds me of Black Ops 3, I think it is. Or one of the Black Ops, maybe by Treyarch. Usually it's not been that good, but we'll find out later on. Decoy grenade, meh. Nah. Uh, spotter scope, I imagine this is just for ground war, really. I can't see any use in team deathmatch and stuff, I guess indeed. Stun grenade, everyone's bread and butter of Call of Duty, everyone uses a stun pretty much. Uh, smoke grenade, this will be useful for thermal optics. I use it when somebody's already peeking a corner uh, and I just throw it and use the thermals and it's a really good tactic actually. I think a lot of people started using that tactic, now I've used it but you'll see more of it later on. Tear gas is good for stopping a flank. Uh, and you know visually stopping an enemy the syringe is an interesting one so it says military injection heals for maximum health over two seconds now i don't know if that means you get max health for two seconds or um it is the duration of use but again there's something we'll find out usually in modern warfare 2019 uh it was just two seconds done so i imagine that's where it is but we'll see Snapshot, temporary wall hacks, if you don't have the perk that stops it, amped up, uh, not amped up, um, hardened something, I can't remember, and the help you tensor. Uh, okay, perks, perks are really interesting in this game actually. Uh, so if I just go into this one, options, yeah, edit perks, still getting used to the menu. You've got a choice of all of these, so if I just skim over them, so you can see for yourself. Uh, right, so overkill is interesting. This is definitely a go-to for S and D, and to top it off, I would go with EOD. Um, it's locked, I don't know how I've got it, I think it's a certain package you can choose to get this, but hey, you know. Um, now, uh, in terms of Team Deathmatch, I really think the two major ones are going to be Battle Hardened 
and EOD. I can't really see any use for the others yet. Then you've got... Oh, any perks? Yep. Go back. Now, these are. this is the more interesting one. And it, out of all of these, I can't see anyone using any of these bar cold-blooded for, you know, camo mastery and the launches, whatever challenges we have. But I'm so glad that they did fast reload, use of equipment, and swap weapons faster all in one because that was just one of the biggest issues I found with Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, and the last one is you've got quick fix, so killing players immediately triggers health regen. I don't think that's too useful in hardcore because you can get one shot pretty much. And then last but not least is this one. Out of all of these, again, I think Ghost is really going to be the best. The only one is Survivor, which is Last Stand. And everyone hates it, but in s &D, it could really make a difference in a 1v1 clutch, so you never know. Alright, so we're off to field upgrades, and I've chosen a tactical camera just because I want to. Um, you've got deployable cover, attack insertion, trophy system, dead silence, everyone's going to use this as the highest level as well. Uh, so you know SOP. Portable radar, I think, could be pretty interesting actually. Battle Rage 2, because you're resistant to equipment, so maybe a claymore, no, tactical equipment actually. Uh, yeah, so a Aquilimo will still kill you, but it regenerates health quickly and all of these. And you could maybe flip and swap between the, um, I forgot what it's called, the little injection, the stims, and this if you're lacking and you want something else other than the stim. So, you know, choose and pick which one and we'll see how it goes. Suppression mine, I can see a lot of trolling with this one, especially from YouTubers uh, in s &D. I don't know what this is like. I don't know how effective it is. I think what's going to happen with this one is it's going to be so overpowered and it's so abused that they're going to have to nerf it or something. Loader drop is meh. I guess in ground war, maybe, if these apply, this would be really good, but I can't see much use in it. Tactical camera, SMD. Uh, winner, I'd say. Knowing where your enemy is is everything. Munitions box is TDM pretty much standard. Um, smoke airdrop. I don't really know how to feel about this one to be honest. It's just 50 50. I can't think of a situation where it's useful because even if you smoke the bomb in SD, there's nothing to stop the enemy from pre firing it just to make sure you're not there. The decoy, however, I think is gonna force a lot of things because I've heard a lot of. Uh, things that is overpowered and it's confusing and it causes problems with enemies and they always fall for it because it's so realistic but you know fun is fun recon drone call out the enemy's location uh, by marking them DDoS is it's a disruption device I haven't read this actually and disrupts enemy sensors in the media area for a short time so it's temporary and it turns them off. I think this is, again, I think this is going to be a sacrifice between Dead Silence and this, in case they have heartbeat sensors. Anti-armor rounds. Uh, gives weapon ammo that applies bonus damage against armor targets and some good vehicles, equipment. So this is just like temporary FMJ, I think. I don't know what it means by armor targets, though. And yeah, you can choose between two. So yeah, there's that. So now, oh, don't bear with me.
Alright, so I'm just gonna go through the SMGs, the shotgun and the attachments, but for the assault rifle, pretty much everything I can see, all the attachments are the same. Uh, and just to, to show you, you've got certain, you even got classes for perks now, which is so much easier. Uh, you know, when you've got someone, maybe somebody pulls out uh, a UAV, you can switch over. But generally, uh, here's the options. Hold on. I've chosen, which is overkill, because you can carry two weapons, that's always useful. EOD for uh, rushing out and, uh, uh, you know, for off spawn and uh, throwing grenades off spawn. If it hits you, you can still get through, no problem, then stim up, that's what I always do. The rest of these I don't find very useful, to be honest. Oh, where am I going? Um, fast hands, always. Again, for SMD, I can't see any use of any of these. And then the last one I chose is the Survivor, the last hand. Because that's interesting. With the Ghost, again, I mean, yeah, of course you want that if they have a UAV. But first, don't give them the opportunity to have a UAV. And two, um, if they do pull out UAV, there's nothing to stop you from shooting it down. So, yeah. Okay, and yeah, everything else is the same. So, now, if I hop into... Battle Rifles, let's see the... Uh, oh, hold on, I'm in the wrong class. There you go. Options, no. What am I doing? Oh, I was so confused in the first... Right. Hey, no. What have I done? Options? Oh no, I've reset my... <laughs> okay. Well, we'll do that together then. Um, right, so this is it. I typically choose, I will go with that, but it's got a glint, so I'll go with this. Um, so if I show you this curve first, is this. It's all the same really, for this one. There might be a difference, I haven't checked yet. And this here is where I was talking about the uh, stopping power rounds, which I think everyone's going to choose if you have the option. The stock did I do? Well, just go over it just in case. So here's the SMGs, the F FSS Hurricane. It looks like it's the best gun, to be honest. Let me just see if these are any different. Yeah, these do look different. There's a lot of options to customize this gun, wow. Oh wow. This is the one I've seen a lot of pro players use with this mag. 
Oh no, it's, it's the barrel, my bad. The SMGs, the shotgun. Oh, and Smith. Oh, you can't. Okay. So there's no options to change that. Uh, this one. No, oh, that's locked. Okay, I'm blind. Optics. Kill streaks. So, I'll just quickly go over these and show you. See if there's anything interesting that I find. Well, I have found some few things. UAV standard bomb drone is an immensely, uh, you know, low kill streak. You only need four kills to get it. But it, if this is a, a one-hit kill, I don't know the range or how effective it is, but I can see this being overpowered in S and D maybe. Uh, counter UAV never been useful, uh, but a few times. Um, I guess it depends on the situation. Uh, you know, I kind of wish they added something to it to make it less useless. Like maybe to store in the screen, then people would have to at least shoot it down. But most players in a game will just let it fly till the time runs out. Uh, unless you, you're doing launcher challenges for Master Camo, in which case is a good way to farm. Cluster Mine, this is interesting because this one, to me, if you imagine S and D, uh, you know, you're, you're in a 1v1 or 1v2, and uh, you put one of these down on bomb B and you just got bomb A, that's a really good way to solve the situation and clutch up. Care package is meh, you know, you can get a good one on bow and you rarely do get good ones. Precision airstrike, really good to get people in buildings when they're camping. Cruise missile is always a guaranteed kill unless they're hiding in a building. It depends on how fast the animation is, um, so you know when to kill them. So we'll have to see that in game. Mortar strike is another one that I think might be pretty useful, I don't know yet. Uh, I've seen some footage and it's kind of, you know, 50-50, it seems like sometimes there's a hit marker, sometimes there's not. The damage range seems to be huge, so you have to be pretty precise, I think, to kill them. I don't know yet. I don't even know if it goes through buildings. Sentry gun, uh, I, I can't see uses in that, nobody uses it too much. SAE. Uh, a trio of jets onto a specific area, so I guess it's like a precision airstrike, but three. Um, then you use a slidey thing, which I like. Uh, right, so... You got the Vito, uh, which is what I use, but it's locked. But interestingly, they're both in the same class of A kills, so of the two, I would always just pick the Hilo, because it's more aggressive. Wilson, I think people got, you abuse this on Shipman, which is why it's so high. Stealth Bomber, I've never had a use for it. Bull Bomber that releases a large line of explosives. So I guess it's just a, a bigger version of the SAE, which is a trio, or a precision airstrike in a way. Chopper Gunner, always overpowered, you're in control, unless it's a squad, and they shoot it down once, then it's useless, but 
Always a good one to have. Emergency airdrop, meh. Gunship, amazing. Uh, advanced UAV, some people use these, I see them often. I don't know why you choose a gunship over the advan- uh, You choose uh, advanced UAV over gunship, but hey, you do you. And Juggernaut, ooh. I like this whole- This is a campaign kind of- I can tell you're already going to put this in on the campaign. That's for sure. But it looks really nice actually, the design and everything. Okay, operators. So, Kongnig, hello. Dad, is that you? This is the one I like the most, I think. Uh, and then you got Zemo. Cleo, hello Cleo. Wink, wink. Uh, of the two, hold on, let me just show you all of them. Price, he's got a mask on. It's a bit cringy, actually. I don't like it. The rest of these, Farah, don't like too much. Sp Spec grew one. Meh. Soap, he needs a new haircut. Well, I don't think he's got much hair left in a few years anyway. He'll be bald. Ghost, he's got some crazy eyes. Oh. And then you've got Fender. I'm not too fast on this line. Hutch, Orangi, Nova, and Kotaki. So I have all of these, you know, I like Gus and I like Cleo. I probably switch between these two. Hold on. Oh, it's my favorite. There you go. Uh, that'll probably show up in the menu screen. But yeah, of these, uh, on the enemy team, I just, you know, the bad guys, I mean, um, chose Orangi just because he's got the good camouflage going on. And he seems like this smaller, uh, you know, character. Which I doubt is going to affect hit reg, but um, let's say you're trying to run from enemy and you just round the corner of a couple of corners. You'd obviously want to go with the smaller one just so you have less chance of seeing them. Whereas a wider player, you're obviously going to see visually. But yeah, that's that. Alright, so I think we're ready to go. Um, that's everything store. Yeah, I've seen that. Operators, weapons, challenges. Oh, we're finally ready to go. Third person, person mosh pits. These are things I'll try, but I really want to just get into hardcore team deathmatch. Filters, team deathmatch. Domination. Okay. So yeah, I'll just go with Team Deathmatch and see how this goes. Code of Conduct, help keep us keep the game fair, safe and fun for everyone by agreeing to all aspects of Call of Duty Code of Conduct, which we everyone will respect. Yeah, that's the usual stuff. I mean, I'm bound by this stuff anyway. What did I do anyway if I wasn't a lawyer? Competitive integrity is core. Progression is earned through good clean gameplay, cheating and griefing to other thoughts to fair play will not be tolerated. Okay. Stay vigilant, working together can keep the game fair and fun for all. To promote and enjoy the gameplay experience, utilizing game tools to report any incidents or inappropriate behavior or behaviors you encounter. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll do that, but I'd, your in game report button is probably fake, so. I mean, it doesn't seem to do much, usually. Challenges. And yeah, I'm just taking a look at everything before I start. Uh, it's kind of disappointing I don't get to try the hardcore game mode, but hey, you know what? Let's just go into it.
Uh, okay, I think I'm ready to get going into a game. Let's see the filters. Domination, team deathmatch. I just want to do team deathmatch. One to six party size. Okay. Score limit 275. Yep, this is standard stuff. Is there no option for a hardcore uh, team deathmatch? Don't think so, but hey. Shall see you soon. 100 FPS. This game feels really. Like, it's really well optimized. I don't know if it's me. It just feels really smooth. It's like you can get high FPS easily, I think. Three mounted kills. Two headshots with a shotgun. Five kills with your secondary weapon using the overkill pack. Okay. You know, I'd love to have my name back, but, uh, you know, apparently my name is Profanity. According to Activision, I don't know why I did. But yeah. Oh, I need to start match. I do love this, this little radar icon. This is a nice touch. This reminds me of... Uh, what's it called? I don't even remember. Friendly UAV on station. We have the lead. Our UAV is all okay, getting area. used to this. I think. I hope. Yes, my first kill is a special kill. Okay. I think some players are coming. Loading. The game feels very slow and like, tactical. Like, you can't just run around. Expect the speed to help you. Sliding still feels good though, so that's something. Ooh. Oh wow, You're trying to shoot me through the wall. Jesus. Max. Covering your six. Switching mags. Jesus, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Can't believe that.
Switching max. There we go. Not expecting me there, probably. So sliding feels like it's useless in this game, but if you jump, it's pretty overpowered, to be honest. There we go. Yes, I need to find how to use my kill streaks. Requesting recon flyover. Okay, that wheel was a bit weird, I think. I'm gonna come this way. I'm gonna wait for them. Maybe not. Changing mag. Friendly UAV on station. Wow, I'm going to go this. Switching mags. Okay. Things also seem there like a bit too bright, but I don't know yet. I don't know what I just did there, but wow. Yeah, that's right, you agree with me. Ain't gonna make a difference. Let's see what I just did there. Okay, so you can hold it and it'll go from Heh heh, oh I'm out of ammo. Reloading! Requesting recon flyover! Copy. Seventy one sixty, okay. Pistol definitely quicker to run with. Swapping man, I got you, buddy. Flash out. Oh, that's from the left.
Well done. There we go. Easy peasy. Two point four to three KD is not bad for me. Reloading. Uh, I keep trying to do my little uh stem for my oh, 2019 switching man Wow, the clicks in this game is actually pretty good. Oh, he died. Yeah, take that bitch. I'm loading. Why the hell did that happen? Okay, yeah, that was really weird. We got me, the little thermal. If this is a good gun, I don't know. Oh gosh, I got sandwiched. Gun's okay. Yeah, don't like it. God, I cannot see anything. That's a uh, that's a bit of a design flaw. Hello, everyone. That is the end of the video. Uh, I apologize for the poor mic quality. I've been trying to sort out my noise suppression. But uh, next video, I'll be showing some more kills, some new guns, and any new features like Grand War. Um, and I hope you enjoy. And uh, well, yeah, get lost. I see you rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little way